Okay. Welcome everyone to the Mayor's Corner. Today we have some special guests with us. Welcome. We have Dr. Dr. Scarborough, Mrs. Nadia Moreno, and Mr. Guillermo Ruiz. Uh, Dr. Scarborough is our superintendent for the Alice Independent School District, and Mrs. Nadia Mo uh, Moreno is the director of school climate grants. Yes. <laughs> and then uh, our our uh, deputy superintendent is Mr. Guillermo Riso. Welcome, everyone. And what we wanted to try to do today was just to uh, put out there some information, some of the resources that our um, our school district has in reference to uh, parents, students, um, some of the resources. Also, we've had some some issues or some concerns about bullying, and and you had uh, you had said we have wonderful a wonderful system to help our our students and parents, and and kind of wanted to put that out there. So, Mister. Okay. Well, Scarborough, Doctor Scarborough. <laughs> sorry. Well, well, first of all, thank you for having us uh, here. You know, and we're always an honor to be here, mm -hmm. uh, meeting with the mayor and, and mm -hmm. being a part of the city of Alice. Uh, we're real proud of our district. Our, our coyotes are, are are working hard. They they are being successful not only in the classroom but in on the courts, on the field, and mm -hmm. lots of good things happening. Yes. And you know, we uh, our district. Uh, just some kudos uh, that uh, to our staff that they've gone out and they've they've found additional resources through grants. So we've been the recipient of the school transformation grant, which Ms. Moreno is, and hopefully soon to be Dr. Moreno is is uh, <laughs> oh, in nice. charge of, and and uh, which has brought so many more support services and resources to our district. Uh, we also received the after school the 21st century grant, which is. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, another additional 1.6 million dollars a year, and we were seeing you know uh, about 200 plus mm -hmm. kids in each of our elementaries, our middle school, high school kids for after school activities until 6:45, mm -hmm. when we also bus them. Uh, the school climate grants a $750,000 a year, multi-year, five-year grant, and so lots of things that we're bringing in to help provide additional resources for our. Um, for our kids, for our parents, uh, mm -hmm. you referenced uh, what what's out there for our parents, and and I'll start with uh, additional uh, staff that we've added. Each of our schools, every school, has a full time social worker. Uh, mm -hmm. There's two at WAMS. There's yes. there's uh, multiple social workers at the the high school, and so each of our elementaries has a full time social worker. In addition to having a full time counselor, mm -hmm. uh, we've added security. Uh, staff at all of our schools. So even at the elementary schools, we have a, a security officer mm -hmm. that's there to help assist. Um, it's real important to have the social worker and counselor there that because they are oftentimes the, an additional resource to connect mm -hmm. parents with some things that uh, that they may need. Sure. We know uh, during the pandemic, it's been even more of a um, of a struggle for many of our families. Mm -hmm. um, we. We have uh, parent liaisons that are funded through our Title I money. Each campus has a full-time parent liaison, and that's the person that goes out into the community that parents can connect with. Um, and of course, we're, we're, our administrators are there, and our teachers, our paraprofessionals, all are great resources. Mm -hmm. So staff-wise, uh, we are very blessed and one of very few districts that have that level of, of support mm -hmm. for not only our kids, but for our parents. Um, we have our coyote closet that uh, Dr. Garcia and, and her team and with our social workers, we provide um, clothing uh, for, for kids that may need it. And, mm -hmm. and that's an everyday, yes. everyday mm -hmm. thing. Uh, we, we set them up with family assistance and, and, and food pantry and so many things that they're um, but I, you know, and I'm going to let uh, Nadia speak more to some of these other things. But okay. when you look at what we have, uh, we knew going into the pandemic too that uh, kids being at home and it struggles on families and, and then mm -hmm. bringing them back into school. Because when you looked at uh, last year, at best, we were about 50% of our kids were in person, mm -hmm. you know, about 50%. And that is. 
um, you know, and, and high school was about 25% of the kids. Mm -hmm. This year, now, we're all back. And, and so when you, when you put all the kids back in school, and we're still living with this pandemic with COVID and the stressors oh, of it, yes. uh, that we knew that we needed to put more emphasis on social, emotional learning. So we have full curriculums in, in uh, all of our schools. We knew we needed to put more money into helping kids with mental health uh, issues. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so we have lots of resources there. Uh, and we knew that, you know, in the age of social media and, and cyberbullying and, and just kids coming back together, that there could be some uh, stressors there. Mm -hmm. In, in relationships and rebuilding relationships that we were going to need to uh, have uh, additional support. So we, we, you know, we have bullying and character ed curriculum. Mm -hmm. uh, our counselors and, and do, do a wonderful job with that and our social workers uh, contribute to that. And then, you know, we have a hotline uh, where they, they get an anonymous tip uh, line where they can go on. We have a mindful corner uh, where there's tips about how to ease stress and, and so forth. But mm -hmm. lots of things, uh, if you look at our website so and in our resources. That, okay. yeah. It's um, through the website, so if someone can access yeah. these resources, mm -hmm. they go to your the Alice uh, ISD Alice website. ISD website. Mm -hmm. uh, you can find multiple resources there. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, always calling our staff, and they can help. Because, uh, mm -hmm. you know, oftentimes it needs to be that face-to-face -face contact. Sure. The... Um, you know, we, we have um, parent meetings and we have a parent conference coming up and we have guest speakers. We have, oh, we had one just, uh, we, we were, we're going to have a uh, meeting and, and for parents just not too long ago, but uh, they, they had to cancel because of COVID. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we're going to reschedule. But, for but, all of us. Yeah. <laughs> But I'll, I'll, I'm going to let okay. Nadia talk a little bit more to these things because okay. she, she's the driver, <laughs> instrumental person behind this. And, and so I think uh, yeah. you know, she can give a little yeah. more detail. And I'll okay. say, Nadia, thank you for everything you do. You've also yeah. worked with the realtors yes. and well, with the Walk With Pride. Yes. And thank, you for, Pride. Yeah. Oh, thank yeah. you for that. Yeah. I really appreciate uh -huh. it. That's and you were the one that connected me to Walk With Pride. What, I think this is our fifth it's year, our fifth year good. already. Uh, when we first started off, I think we had maybe about 25 to 50 students, and now it's grown. Um, yeah. You all have offered us up to 500 um, students um, to receive um, shoes yes. for our students, so well, they look forward to that every year. Well, thank um, you. One thing that I can say that I'm absolutely proud of of um, Alice ISD is how we handle, how we tackle um, mental health. Um, that is something that, um, with the pandemic that we've seen. Um, that it, it's such an important topic. Um, you know, Dr. Mm -hmm. Scarborough was talking about how we now have social workers on every campus. Um, that's something rare uh, for South Texas. It's, it's very rare. And now we're seeing other, uh, other school districts um, incorporating um, social workers. Um, Corpus Christi ISD um, is now, um, they're looking at having um, social workers on every campus also. Um, so uh, we connect a lot with uh, the different school districts, and it seems like they're always coming to us and, and uh, <laughs> looking at how we model everything, so that, that definitely makes me proud uh, with that. Um, but some of the services that we do offer, like Dr. Scarborough stated, um, there is one. Um, we have, um, it's called Gaggle, and mm -hmm. that is a monitoring system. Um, it basically monitors um, student um any any Google accounts, things like that, and it monitors uh, trigger words um, such as oh. um, suicide, any type of violence, um, mm -hmm. bullying, things like that. Um, and when something gets picked up, um, myself um, and uh, Mr. Reese and um, Dr. Johnson, we get uh, notified about that. And then uh, what we do is we take a look at it and we assess it. And then from there, we decide um, which way to go. Um, so there are times that I'm making contact uh, to parents um, to, to let them know what's mm -hmm. going on. And then from there, we do referrals. Um, on top of the social workers and the counselors, our campus counselors that we have, um, we also have another program, which is through Gaggle. Mm -hmm. And we offer um, 
we offer counseling sessions um, through a licensed professional counselor or through a licensed clinical counselor to our wow. students, and um, we can do that to up to 600 students. Um, and this is free? This is all free, free. and at 10 wow. sessions per that student. That is awesome. Um, so we have, um, you know, we have, this is open to everybody on, um, in the school district. Um, so that's an amazing tool that, that we have, and we've been uh, utilizing that also. Um, we also have um, our curriculums uh, that Dr. Scarborough was talking about. Um, we have two different ones, our social-emotional learning curriculums, one for the elementary campuses and then the other for the secondary campus. Um, with the secondary campus, we have, um, we have components such as um, mental health, um, response to intervention, um, we have um, topics such as um, bullying, um, dating violence, um, mm -hmm. child abuse. Um, we have uh, topics that uh, discuss um, op opioid use um, and just a variety of, of different uh, issues like mm -hmm. that. So these, um, these topics are, are they're, um, difficult to discuss but um, our students and our families need to need to be aware of it. Sure. And um, the amazing thing about that curriculum is that it's also open to our parents. Um, so if our parents ever have a question about uh, mental health, um, such as suicide or non-suicidal self-harm, um, they can actually go on there and look at a, a section and get information on that. And there's always resources um, that are provided there. Um, so we, we have um, quite a bit of things going on. Yes. Um, also, one more thing is um, monthly, um, the social workers do a, a community support session. Mm -hmm. So we bring in um, speakers from um, our um, different community partners, mm -hmm. and uh, we do these in the evenings. Um, that way our parents um, hopefully can, can make it. And mm -hmm. we do talk about um, the difficult subjects to, to, talk, to talk about. So mm -hmm. uh, we're always wanting to... Um, inform and educate our parents and our community about uh, mental health. And those um, notifications, go, where can they find those? We do them through Remind, um, and also each campus um, gets the, the time and date of when we're going to have them, mm -hmm. and then we post them on our website. Um, and then um, there's Facebook. been times, um, yes, our Facebook, mm -hmm. our on Facebook. Facebook. Mm -hmm. okay. yes, and all of our information can be found on the Alice ISD website, mm -hmm. um, on the social work page, um, you'll see uh, community resources, the virtual calming corner, um, and the, our phone numbers, emails, um, in case anybody needs to make contact yes. with us. I know we had uh, talked a while back in mm -hmm. reference to a mentorship uh -huh. type of thing that you uh -huh. were, is that yeah. still uh -huh. available to mm -hmm. Anyone wishing to sign up mm -hmm. for that? or um, At this time, with the way things have been with COVID, um, mm -hmm. we've kind of tabled that, but oh, that's okay. something definitely that I want to get back into because okay. um, having our students have mentors, especially communities, mm -hmm. um, our community partners, um, is something that, that anybody can benefit from. You know, Alice, uh, the community of Alice is so supportive. Mm -hmm. and, oh, and I don't think uh, we've met anybody that mm -hmm. hasn't been willing to say, hey, we want, we're here to help the schools, right. we're here to help the kids. And, you know, um, we have o over 4,300 kids mm -hmm. sitting in our schools. Uh, and, you know, that's a, that's a lot of kiddos and Fun. over yeah. 700 staff. And, and uh, so we know that uh, we're... The school district is a big part of mm -hmm. this community. Absolutely. And, <laughs> yes. Uh, you know, the, and one thing that uh, we're, we're proud of a lot of good things that uh, we're doing, and yes. we're doing. Uh, there, there's been so many uh, things happening, and that we can point to and say, and have celebrations. Mm -hmm. And there are those, you know, in every single day, there, there's the challenges that we have sure. with uh, make, making sure that our kids are getting a quality education and making sure that they're safe in our schools and mm -hmm. um, and you know when you look at that many kids there's very small percentage very small percentage of kids that report or parents that report bullying mm -hmm. so it, it you know it's less than one percent you know two mm -hmm. percent at the most and so but one case is serious for us mm -hmm. every single kid every single case we're going to make sure that we do a thorough job with mm -hmm. it. And then we have to make sure that uh, is the behavior uh, rise to the level of bullying, right? Mm -hmm. Is it is it uh, uh, developmental kid behavior? Mm -hmm. or, or, you know, is it just 
off-task behavior. So it's just kids being kids. Well, we want to make sure that we, we monitor that, we supervise our kids closely, and that uh, we do the best job we can to not only um, take care of it, take care of it when it happens, but to prevent it. So the the most important piece that most people forget about is what we're doing to help prevent some of those things through the character education, through informing of our parents. You know, we have challenges with vaping, mm -hmm. and we have challenges with are are there uh, other substances or. Mm -hmm those type of things that we see in the general society and and these kids are not immune from that and so when they're when things happen in, in outside the school it often trickles in school and we, we want to make sure that we're trying to provide them education about it mm -hmm. and and that's that's to a try daily. To mitigate that's a da daily yeah we can we want to try to mitigate that as much as possible mm -hmm. and we know that um, you know we, we Every single day is fluid, and every single uh, kiddo has a different experience that they have when I'm they sure. come into the school or are there. And so we want to make sure that we're, we're taking care of them. Well, we'd like yeah. to thank y'all because I, it's not easy. It's not easy trying mm -hmm. to navigate through these different um, situations and, and issues. But I, I you know, I, I appreciate all that y'all do and all the hard work that y'all put into it because you are educating our future. Well, it's thanks. our future, uh, future mayor, future city manager, future yeah. superintendent, council. I mean, <laughs> they're our future Absolutely. and we've got to take care of them. And, and, you know, I know it's difficult and thank you for all the resources you have for our parents for and for the students. And the main thing is just making everyone aware and this was one of the part of things that so that we could put the word out there that there are resources out there and we you know our our school district cares very much about our children and their future and are open to to communicating and helping with the resources available and, and i you know our motto is our kids our future and, mm -hmm. and our mission is to educate these kids and get them ready get them ready for it to be future ready mm -hmm. and and part of that is learning how to get along with others and being good citizens and mm -hmm. you know getting educated but the uh you know we 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 want to appeal to our parents and say you know help uh, help we're going to help you and we need everybody's help you want to be a resource to, also but yeah, to need, monitor, you know, yep. But we need yeah. the foundation at home right Mon and monitor what's happening mm -hmm. i know i, I want to know Pick up my kid's device and look at it and see what what, what are you doing on going this on? thing? There, and, yeah. yes. uh, and mm -hmm. you know, just be aware of the things that our kids are going through now that were much different than, than well, before. I'm not going to mention <laughs> Willie's age, but you know, <laughs> Willie and I are pretty close to the same age. But uh, mm -hmm. you know, it was different. We didn't have we didn't have these things. Those. You know, these things right here are are quite a different yes. animal and a challenge for, for well, our it, kids. It, it and gives access to our children. Exactly. Yeah. And, and I just want to say that, you know, having partnerships throughout the city with the City of Alice, Jim Mills County Probation Department, all the different agencies here in Alice have been very helpful to our district. And, and mm -hmm. you know, we're, Nadia was talking about gaggle. I mean, that's one of, the, to me, one of the greatest inventions that, that's <laughs> that's come out. I mean, we get uh, notifications of possible suicides and, and Nadia does and her staff does a real good job of, of looking into that. But, you know, just, just the partnerships that, that we have with the community has been mm -hmm. great. The police department, uh, uh, Chief Garcia has mm -hmm. been great, uh, you know, and, and, you know, we've, we've had a little bit of issues with threats and things like that, but we do have, and the state requires that we have assessment teams, behavior uh, threat assessment teams, which we do, and, mm -hmm. and we take every threat very seriously. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, I just want to mention that we do have a great partnership with the agencies with the City of Alice. Oh, well, good. Thanks, Absolutely. you guys, for what you do for us. Well, I appreciate you all, so <laughs> anything we can do, we're always yeah. here for, for our community and for our our school district. I mean, it's a vital, y'all play a very uh, vital role in the success of the city because you are teaching and building those leaders and, and those that are going to go out in our community. 
and you know I'm so proud of our I, Alice ISD I had my son that went through the system with the school district and all from elementary up to high school graduated went on to college has his master's and there's so many other students that have gone through our system and have great success stories so I'm very proud of our Alice students and and all their achievements and those they work really hard and there's a resilience in our community when we all come together and they're always willing to help so yeah, I was at uh, Texas A&M Kingsville yesterday for the announcement of their promise program uh -huh. and there's Dr. Rito Silva up there and yes. he's a proud Alice graduate the <laughs> keynote speaker was was uh, a proud Jean Espinosa mm -hmm. graduated from Alice High School mm -hmm. and so you, you, we know I mean that uh, and I want to give kudos to Willie mm -hmm. who oversees all of the operational safety mm -hmm. side in addition to many other duties but mm -hmm. but you know he sits on he sat he, they sought him out to sit on a panel through the Texas uh, School Safety Center um, you know he, he's well aware and keeps abreast of that and works uh, closely with Patrick Thomas, you know, the, the fire chief, and with uh, Chief uh, uh, Edan and Garcia, and and mm -hmm. uh, Michael Spars, the city manager, is always just a phone call away on, on and, and uh, supporting whatever we need and yourself. And Nadia was has done presentations and is sought out to because the people are asking and they're looking at Alice ISD mm -hmm. of what we're doing in the mental health and the social services and and we're not perfect by any means but we strive to be the best we can every single day mm -hmm. and if there's ever any uh, feedback that we can get to get better and do a better job you know we, we definitely are here to hear it and we and we'll take that and look to see what we can do better but, just, uh, just want to add that that Nadia was also uh, invited to one of the panels with the Texas State Safety mm -hmm. Center, so mm -hmm. she and uh, uh, Angel, Angel mm -hmm. were also mm -hmm. part of the social and emotional mm -hmm. part mm -hmm. of the uh, Texas State Safety Center. That is uh, awesome. Mm -hmm. But they were looking mm -hmm. into. Uh -huh. And Angel was Social Worker of the Year. Yeah. You know, oh. for the <laughs> that is awesome. So there, there's a lot of good quality mm -hmm. people here that care, mm -hmm. oh, yes. and uh, so we just. Uh, you know, give us a call, yeah. parents, if, if you're uh, listening. I know we got probably what, about three million uh, viewers right now. <laughs> but uh, even yeah. if there's one, you're, yes. you're important. So let us know, and yeah. so we'll. Well, thank, thank you, you so for much for being for putting out this information and for what y'all do and and building that foundation, continuing to build that foundation for leadership and and growth. And again, you are a vital part of our, our success as a city. So thank you so much. And thank you to the parents out there. And, and do reach out to our counselors, our superintendents. Our, they're there to help us. Our teachers are there. They do a wonderful job. It's a hard job. It's not an easy job. But they're there to help us. So thank you again. And, and I look forward Appreciate to you. working with y'all and Thanks creating the, the alliances. Thank you. Right. <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank the crew, <laughs> all the crew back <laughs> there the crew. behind the scenes. Thank you for all you did. All righty. Thank you.